This is a weird and interesting situation to be put in. Hey, what's up, my Dokus? Jason here. We'll get back to more Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Last time, we made it to Aerith Sea and to Alchemoth, where we learned about Melia being a princess. And we were also taken into custody because of the Monado. This time, we're going to go around talking to our peers and see what they have to say. Right. We have never had any contact with the Hyentia before. Perhaps they are being cautious just as we would. Hmm? Shulk, you have no to worry. You n you have no no worry. I don't know if this is have not to worry. I actually didn't read that properly. Bird people not bad. Yeah? The ones we came to meet Melio the ones who came to meet Melly were also wearing those masks. What in the world is going on? What's up? What, what is all this? How come? How can they treat us like this? That Melia chick. You sh sure? You are sure we can really trust her, right? You are to be interrogated by the Divine Seer. Stand back. Alvis! What are you doing here? I see. So that is why you are here. Is Melia okay? We didn't mean to cause her any trouble. Rest assured, she is fine. The real reason you have been detained is not because you are outsiders. You don't mean... Yes. The Monado. You see, the High Entia and the Monado go back many years. Millennia, in fact. Ah. Oh. Leave everything to me. I shall see to it that you are not held for long. We cannot have the saviors of Her Highness treated as criminals now, can we? Free these people. I shall take responsibility for their actions whilst inside the capital. They are now guests of the Imperial family. Sir! I am required to report to His Majesty. Otherwise, I would escort you around the capital. Use this room at your leisure. You are free to roam the city or stay here and rest. Farewell. Hold on, Alvis. I need to ask you... Be patient. I know what it is you wish to ask. Do not fear. You will learn when the time is right. The life of the rich. So where are we going? Anywhere but here. I'm bored of this stuffy room. Okay then. Ricky, find Melly for Shulk. Ricky, wait. Your Eminence. What God want? If you're after Alvis, he's gone. What? Where did he go? What happened? We received an SOS from a small squadron repairing a transporter at Aerith Sea. But the transmission was interrupted, and we have lost all contact with the squadron. Sounds like they need our help. Shulk and Ricky go help. Ricky and friends help people in trouble. Of course. We're happy to help. But you're outsiders. Soldier man, not worry. Hereupon Ricky is here to save the day. It is most appreciated. We need all the help we can get.
All right, we have a story quest. Save the worker. We have to go to Hovering Reef 4 where Sarath Lighthouse is situated and ask where the workers is. So, let's go ahead and leave this place. Oh, uh, we don't really have a whole lot of places. Oh, I guess we could teleport other places. To other areas, but we don't want to do that, obviously, because we want to explore, man. Because this teleporter actually takes us out here, out to the Great Hall. And we're going to be doing some quest picking up here, because, yes, this is another new area. So we have a lot of quests that we can pick up. Yes. All right, we have, I think that's a monster quest. Yes. Yep. Oh, it's monster quest four. Wow, uh, we're yes. uh, already at the end of this stuff. All right, there's that. Um, I should probably check the daytime and see if, uh, there are any side quests to pick up around here during the day of which there is yes what do you have for us I think that was a challenge quest so I'm gonna go ahead and just you know speed things along uh, while we're picking up some of the rest of these quests
Okay, many, many moons later. I'm pretty sure that takes care of every single side qu quest that we can get. Well, as for generic quests. Look at all that stuff we have to do. Some of it was done, but yeah. Oh well, we can take care of that stuff while we're out. However, we're in a new place. We're in a very advanced place, very professional place. I'm just gonna switch it back here just because. Um, and I think we need to dress differently because we are not savages. Not, you know, that this makes us look like that, but we have a shop here. Let's go ahead and see what they have. Oh, looks like we got a weapon for Melia. She's not in the party, but, you know, we can look. Oh, we have an Ace Lancer for uh, Ryan. We have a Nibbler, a hunting Nibbler for Ricky, which doesn't seem to do much for him. And then we have an Iron Cutlass for Dunban. Hmm. I might buy that one. Alright, we have plenty of new equipment. Ain't gonna make a difference to any. Actually, okay, so I need four of these. One, two, three, four. Ooh, swimming top. You. Okay, some people can benefit from it, but it's got weight. Alright, so let's go ahead and order or get four of these. Um. Okay, so I'm just kind of was going quiet there and skipping a little bit until I got equipment up, but I gotta say, that just does not look right for Shulk. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy those. Are you that? Um. Well, actually. I don't know, like, it looks nice, but it just looks ugly on the menu. I don't know, we'll just stick with it. Okay, here's the final look at our team currently. Everybody kind of has back to unique form instead of looking like we just came from the jungle. And we are now ready to shove off, even though, you know, it's been like a half hour rec of recording for me and I haven't really done much because I've just been collecting quests and changing around equipment. So, it's off to Aerith Sea with us to try to go see if we can find that worker and also take on any of these other side quests. Let's -a go! Alright, so, what we are needing to do, because I'm pretty sure we cannot, um, we don't have any other transporters around here, we need to go back the way we came, except this time, instead of going this direction that we were heading towards. We need to go the other way, but first, we need to take on this hode because it's a part of a, of a quest, or one of the quests that we need to do. Actually, what is everybody's affinity looking like? Alright, so I've got a good one with Ryan. Hulk. Some uh, almost everybody's doing pretty good, exception of Ricky and um, I forgot about that. All right. Um. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna switch around the party a little bit. 
Because I think that, like, we could ha use Ricky being in the party for just a little bit. But, yeah. So, we basically just have to take out all these enemies and... Um... That's about it. So, um, yeah, I guess, uh, what have you guys been up to? Anything soon? Oh, no. We're gonna run away a bit for a sec. Yeah, I've, I've just been, you know, doing, uh, normal stuff. Normal stuff of a YouTuber. Or I guess normal stuff of a, of a college student and all that jazz. We, uh, uh, had a project thing last week, and I did pretty good on it. Of course, I say last week, but this is going to be uploaded, like, a while from now. So. It's the weird thing about recording far in advance, or I guess, not really far in advance, but, like, just in advance, is a lot of the stories that you tell can be out of date a little bit, but... I don't know, I just enjoy doing it because of the fact that I am still in college, and so it's like, uh, it just makes it easier on me personally to be a decent length ahead and to be able to, um, to be able to not worry, have to worry about too many hiccups. There may be, day, like, one day where I go without a video because I forget to edit. Or something like that. So, you know, there will be those days, and uh, I just kind of let them go. I Usually I'll take at least one day. If I take more than one day, I usually get a little frustrated with myself, because having one day for myself with such a long series like this where I just don't upload a video, it, it's understandable. If I have to take a week off because I don't have videos ready, that's... Something that'll be a little frustrating, but it'll probably be because I have stuff like school to focus on. Other than that, I guess I've recently be finally beaten Kirby's Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Uh, didn't actually take that long to get the final parts of the 100% completion. A lot faster than, uh... A lot faster than, um... Uh, freaking triple deluxe, I can say that much. Alright, let's continue on. We are in Hovering Reef 3 now. And we have some more hoads who... I'm gonna try to lure over this way, and we're just gonna go ahead and keep fighting him. Alright, that takes care of them and the quest, which is good. And now we need to head over in this direction. We're not going to worry about any of the other enemies here because they're not needed for anything. We're just going to head this way. Because we will find where our story objective is. And, of course an enemy we need to defeat as always but yeah, now you can kind of see now that we're actually outside in air sea again why I love this area so much I, I just can't with this area like, th there is just so much beauty to air sea and it's honestly just so breathtaking and it's one of the places where I'll just sit and let the game play for you know, hours just to look at it. I mean, it's really is truly spectacular. And, you know, there's Alcomoth. <laughs> Alright, here's the guy we need to talk to. Yes. The worker finally came to fix the transporter, but he went to get, so get some ether crystals and never came back. He you can get to the ether or the crystal deposit from behind the lighthouse. Do you think you could go and take a look for me? Sure, why not? It's not like we have anything better to do. Um... I thought there was an eye. 
Oh, is that an item orb? Is that what that is? Oh, it is. Look at that. Alright, that'll take care of one or that'll get us started on one of our collection quests. And a vision. Alright, we have marine marble. If you come over here, we have Lighthouse Keeper. What do you have for a quest? Oh, he has a monster quest for us, so we're getting some of the Aerith Sea quests. What is it? On top of what we have with Alchemoth. What is it? Alright, there we go. First and foremost, before we head back to the behind the um, lighthouse, if we come up here, we'll find some people to talk to. Go ahead and add her to our affinity chart. And we have an Alchemoth citizen who's got a collection quest. Oh, and this is a rare case where we have someone who gives out multiple. Alright, cool. Got a heart to heart here we can't do anything with. So let's go ahead and head back down. Oh, do we have to... Oh! Oh, because it's getting daytime. This is when the other enemies that we need to take out for um, monster quests come out. Alright. It's... Honestly, I always prefer to play Aerith Sea at night just because of the beauty that's here. I mean, it's still a great place during the day, it's just that the area, just like Satoru Marsh, Aerith Sea really shines when it's night at night time. Alright, there we go, takes care of that. And let's go ahead and head back in this direction. Because this is where we have to go. You know, obviously. Judging by the story mode, or the story quest uh, marker. And here's another one. Well, that didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. But anyway, continuing on. We're just gonna keep going, we're not gonna really bother. Also, we have like really high level enemies here that I don't wanna deal with. So let's go ahead and head over here. And it looks like we're getting closer and closer to where we need to be. Oh, we have a new enemy. And he's also on the list of thing or enemies that we have to defeat. So let's take him out. Ooh, a quest complete there with our collection quest. Got another white tail. Cool. And I guess with all of that guy's friends dead too, we can finally continue on. And arrive at our location. Oh, I guess they're, we're just gonna have to fight these guys, no warning. Alright, that's what we gotta do. Oh dear. Oh, it's because he's blind. I was like, I was about to say what happened there. God, these guys are wailing on us. That's not good. Oh, they're gonna combo him. Alright, we're gonna do Monado speed on. 
Alright, let's go, uh, for... Go for chain. That didn't work. Uh, it's not gonna be good. Yeah, he's probably gonna kill me. Yeah, I figured. She freaking comboed us all at once. Oh, so dumb. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, there we go, okay, only like two more left. Uh, this is not looking good. They've killed Dunban. They're about to kill me. Yep, there it is. Alright, get me up. Come on, why does he have to bind me like that, dude? And he's gonna daze me too. And uh, go for out of speed. Come on. Alright, let's go for that. Oh, that. Oh, that took care of them all. Cool. All right, let's grab all these treasures. Get what we need from them, and I guess talk to this guy. Are you that? Thanks. I thought I was a goner there. Things could have turned out really nasty if you hadn't come. I'm off to fix the transporter now. See you around. And that is the extent of my discussions with the Homs that accompanied Melia here. I still cannot believe it. How could a Telethia have grown to such power? And what is your conclusion, Seer? That the Telethia were able to gain such power due to the high levels of ether in the region. In other words, our ether protection is weakening. And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. What of the Monado? I cannot see. My sight is hindered. However... Speak, Seer. It is not certain that the Monado will bring about our destruction. While my sight is hindered, I have seen a slither of light. Is your Majesty not aware of this light as well? Are you referring to... Melia? And the young man. Shulk. 
Could it be that the boy is trustworthy after all? Kalyan, we are on the cusp of a significant moment. The investiture ceremony must take place as soon as possible. Your Majesty, since the ministries are already in agreement, we may be able to bypass some of the formalities. Indeed. But she must still earn the blessing of the people. Might I suggest the trial of the tomb? First consort, such a ritual has not been conducted for generations. We have simply not had a need for it until now. And I feel she is more than equal to the challenge. Mother, the tomb is dangerous. Our records show that many potential successors lost their lives performing the ritual. That child fought and beat the Telethia. It is my belief that she is more than strong enough. Besides, if it was revealed that she avoided such a responsibility, her reputation among the people would be irreparably damaged. I must protest. Uh, the First Consort is right. There is much risk, but the rewards are greater. It would seal the people's love for her. Summon Melia. Her thoughts must be heard. I accept. If I am to lead the High Entia despite my mixed heritage, if I am to succeed the throne, then I accept what must be done. I expect nothing less of my successor. The path to greatness is fraught with danger. This shall be your statement to Bionis. Yes, your majesty. You are not fit to be Empress. Not now, not ever. Hmm. Oh, looks like we got them out of a scrape. Shulk, Ricky tired. <sighs> Ricky sleeping castle now. Good idea. Let's head back to the capital. The sooner the better. I'm not gonna lie, I just kind of stopped talking there because I thought we were gonna get like a cutscene as soon as we entered Alchemoth. But we didn't. Anyway. Uh, if we head all the way down to this area, because we need to go back to the room that we were in. If we head all the way down to this area, or to the end of this area, we will actually find an item orb. That completes Search Quest 2. I can feel the power. And we are now level 42, nice. Oh, right. Um, Shulk's skill tree actually is completed, so we need to switch to a new one. You know what we're going to do? Humanity, because if we can get this Healing Arts Restore more HP, that'd be beneficial to us. Alright. Um, Ricky's doing pretty good. Oh, Ryan's got a switch. So let's see here. Who allows heavy armored equipment? No, let's do that. So we got it, them on a new one. Doing pretty good. As for arts, R Ricky learned Tantrum, which slashes out enemies inflicting break. Let's go ahead and replace that with... Or replace that over behave. And I guess let's head back to that room.
Everyone's gathered outside. How come we didn't get invited? It looks like some kind of ceremony. My loyal and beloved subjects, Saurian Antiqua speaks. I have been your emperor for little more than 20 years. But today, I stand before you in celebration. So that's the High Entia Emperor, Saurian Antiqua. I will remain your emperor for years to come. But now is the time to announce my successor. May I introduce your crown princess? And there's the lady herself. Melia Antiqua! It's... it's her. She's... she's a princess. Took you long enough. <sighs> her silver spoon accent was a clue. But royalty? My daughter, Melia Antiqua, will depart immediately to face the tomb. She will seek the approval of our ancestors and become... Your crown, princess. Ah! <gasps> 